Yo, this is Sharpshoe Boom with uh, another tutorial video. So, I, um, this one's about the nether. And so, while you guys were away, I have set up where I think I'll put my main base. And then I might even make a bigger base off of that. But my, the base that I, where I was last episode was over there. Um, so... And then I just set up a little small base here. I also, so for a portal to get into the nether, you need 10 pieces of obsidian. And to get obsidian, you need to use a diamond pickaxe. I did that off camera because it's pretty boring. And without like efficiency or anything, mining obsidian is really slow. But yeah, and by the way, you don't need to do the corners. So to start the portal up, you need uh, to use flint and steel. Which, so the flint is from gravel and then the steel is just iron. And there. Uh, I'm kind of actually kind of nervous. Just in case I die, I set my spawn here and I, I mean, this isn't really much. But it's enough that I could go back into the nether and possibly get my stuff back. Um, so you, when you go in the nether, you definitely want a sword and building blocks and food. Um you it's i usually bring a bow but um i didn't don't have any arrows right now so i figured i probably don't need it and i think for now i'll just go in and uh see where i end up so when you go into the here let's see okay so you start going in and it'll just load up you want to press crouch when you first get in and okay, so we spawned in a basalt valley. So, oh boy, I already gas. So I would say the first thing you want to do is to kind of block off your portal a little bit because there's magma cubes out here that you don't really want to mess with. At least not yet. So you want, and I should have brought more building blocks, oh well. But you want to make a temporary wall and actually, for some reason, there's no magma cubes out here, but normally there's a bunch of magma cubes roaming around. That's a gas. And um, you don't wanna, you can get it mad, but just make sure that you hide before it can throw a flaming ball of fire at you, because then that could destroy you as well as like cobblestone, I think. So I'm gonna go back in, go back out, because um, I just, first of all, I didn't bring enough cobblestone, and I also wanted to check if the portal linked correctly, and it did. So normally, when you go first go through a portal, you go to like the nearest spot in the Nether that is um, able to spawn a portal. But sometimes that spot isn't like it's just sometimes it's like you know it's kind of not very close so you'll go in and get into that that nether portal but when you go out it'll spawn a new nether portal like over that way or wherever it really would go to in the overworld but this was fine okay so i was an idiot <laughs> i didn't bring nearly enough cobblestone but i think for now this is going to be fine um yeah boy now i have to get back home Actually, you know what? I'm just going to get back to you when I get back in the nether, so yeah. Oh, and um, by the way, so I caught some sheep, and I bred them, and you're probably wondering how you breed sheep. Well, you you can use, um, uh, I better start with the basics. So, if you um, mine something like this, you have like a 0 0.5 chance of getting seeds, and then if you plant those seeds by using a hoe on the ground, and you can plant them, and eventually they'll grow into this, the final project, and you'll get wheat, and you'll get some more seeds. So, that's what I did um, between episodes. And, um, so I bred some sheep, and I also made some shears, um, which is this, which is just two pieces of iron. And that way you can, um, oh, <laughs> that way you can, um, use shears on these sheep and get their wool without having to kill them and that way uh you can get beds so beds 
Actually, it's turning night now. Right now, they allow you to skip night, which is extremely useful. They also set your spawn. So, like, let's say if you died, which I actually have in this this uh, this uh, tutorial series yet. So that's cool. Um, I'll show you in a sec. Um, let's see, as you can see, I made a diamond pickaxe. I also captured a chicken waiting for another one. Oh, and it laid an egg. Should I go down there? Because then I got stuck. Mm, I'll wait. Um, so, when it's, this is like considered evening, so I don't think I can sleep yet. Oh no. So, once it's night, then you can sleep here. And, uh, yeah. You can sleep. <laughs> okay, I'll check back with you once I'm back in the nether. Alright, I'm back. So, um, I added a few chests, I haven't actually put anything in them, and I made this slightly safer. Um, uh, for some reason, magma cubes really aren't spawning at all, even though this is a basalt valley, but normally they'd be like everywhere around here. And you can tell it's a basalt valley because of this, basalt, <laughs> hence the name. Um, I also started digging this way because then you can get resources. So this is quartz. So nether quartz is going to be used in a lot of redstone stuff and it can be made into a block that uh, is very useful in building because it's white. So I'm going to take some of this. And it's also really nice um, XP source. So I think I might mine a little bit more to like find like maybe one more biome so that way I can show you kind of you know okay I'm back um it was taking a lot longer than I thought it would um in my survival world so I just decided to show you stuff in a creative world so this obviously is a basalt valley. Blackstone and basalt spawn here. Mag magma cubes spawn here, which can drop magma cream, which can be used in potions. Um, also magma blocks, and there's, um, yeah. So over here, this is a warped forest. So this spawns in, oh my God, that's embarrassing. <laughs> this spawns in Enderman. So, um, and it also spawns in these warped fungus, which um, I'll tell you about in a later biome. And they also spawn in these like little trees, um, which uh, can be used actually as wood. And they also have shroom, shroom lights and these like leaf blocks. They also have these vines, which you can climb up. Um, there's, um, let's see, anything else about this place? Um, I might tell you some more. This is Wasteland, or actually, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but, um, it's, uh, I could probably told you, uh, bad at Lucha. Um, it's kind of just, this was what it was like before the Nether update, and it spawns magma cubes and these guys. Um, by the way, if you're in Survival World, do not punch these guys. Do not. Because then every single one of these guys in a ra certain radius will attack you and, well, that's not good. This is a strider. Um, they spawn in lava, I think. But they, you can, if you put a saddle on them, you can actually ride them. This is a baby, of course. But, um, and if they're in lava, they actually turn, like, red color. Um, let's see. Let's see if there's a near biome. Ah! I'm so bad at flying. Let's see. Oh, it's taking so long to load. Um, oh, and this is a lodestone compass. I just did this just in case I wanted to get back, but I don't think I will. So, oh, okay. Finally. This is a crimson biome. So this is kind of the opposite of the warp for forest. These, this has, um, this type of wood, which is kind of the opposite, and same with the trees, and then they also have, see, this, which you can also climb up or down, 
these spawn in piglins, uh, and if you wear gold, they will not attack you. Of course, I don't see any nearby. Let's see. Um, let's see, are there any nearby? Um, I don't see any nearby, but they spawn piglins, which if you're wearing gold, they will not harm you. Actually, since these are kind of important, I'm going to try and find them in the egg thing. Let's see. Strider, Ravenger, Pillager. Piglin, piglin, pig. Oh, piglin. And also hoglin. So, mm -hmm. this is a piglin. They, um, so if you're wearing gold, they will not attack you. Of course, I'm in creative, so they will, they automatically won't attack you. But you can, if you throw a gold ingot at them, they can give you a random, uh, one of, uh, I don't exactly know what it's called. But, like, if you throw this at them, then they will give you something in return. Let's see. What is he gonna give me? He gave me fire charge, which by the way does that. Um, normally be used up, but so that that's them. Um, yeah. And then these are hoglins. Um, they are very brutal. They are yeah, they I just they there's certain farms that you can use on them, but, like, they are, let's see, I'm trying, so they're scared of this, warp fungus, so if I put, let's see, where'd it go, oh, I'll just spawn another one, so if I put this there, come on, see, they kind of hate it, so that can be used in farms, or in, oh, and by the way, if you bone meal one of these, they can turn into this, and that's how you can farm, you know, this, and then if you bone meal this, here, wait, I'll just get some bone meal, Wait. But if you bone mill this and then you can get that, and then if you do that, then you can get that. Um, let's see. There's one more that I'm looking for, but I might have to kind of search. Let's see. Let's see. Man, I'm bad at flying. Um, let's see. I'm looking for Soul Sand Valley. Um, but there's another warp. Um, come on. Where are you? Gotta be oh, and you can sell them um, tell that you're in a basalt valley by these white particles. If you go out of it, then they kind of go away. I feel like I should turn render distance up because, uh, dude, this is actually a really big nether room or cavern. No, a little bit smaller. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so this is a bastion. Um, I uh, God. Okay, let me just land. Apparently, doesn't want me to. Okay, so this is a bastion. I think there's a few different kinds. This happens to be one like the treasure one, I think. See, because there's gold here. Um, by the way, if a piglin. One of those guys sees you, um, delete a gold block. Oops. <laughs> delete a gold block, then they will get mad at you. Of course, I am in creative. Um, so the, this type, um, spawns in hoglins as well as piglins, and they also spawn in piglin brutes. I think almost all bastions do that. Piglin brutes are really, like, they're, like, twice as hard to fight as piglins because they've got golden axes that yeah if you you do not want to mess with them um they also there's also um gilded blackstone in here which uh can be used it can be used for uh like decoration um there's usually chests in here and also if you open a chest a piglin will get mad at you okay actually there's two more things i want to find soul sand valley and another fortress but don't see any. Ah, that was lag. Sort of. Yeah, dead end. Dang it. Oh, whoa, okay. Forgot about that. Uh, okay, come on. 
I think I'll just cut until when I find one, so. All right, I'm back. And I found a Soul Sand Valley, very small one, but uh, so Soul Sand Valleys have, well, Soul Sand, and they also have Soul Soil, which can make blue lights. So, like this. Um, and uh, they spawn in skeletons. And yeah, that's kind of about it for Soul Sand Valley. Um, I've been looking around and I haven't... Okay, this is a bigger Soul Sand Valley. Oh, and they also spawn in these uh, little bone things that... Uh, yeah, they're very useful because as you know, as you probably know, bone blocks can be used in stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll get back to you when I found another fortress. And I found a nether fortress. So these can usually be in any biome, I think. Um, but they have, yeah, as you can see, loot. This doesn't have particularly good loot. You can find diamonds in these chests, by the way. But um, they they also have this. So this is nether wart. And um, it can be used. It's If you don't have nether wart, you can't really make potions. Except for maybe like poison potion. Um, so, that is another good thing about the, uh, the nether fortress. Okay, um, I want to see if I can find a blaze spawner real quick. These also spawn wither skeletons. Here, I'll see if I can find that. Come on. Oh, here it is. So, wither skeletons give you the wither effect when they hit you, and they're three blocks tall. So, I'd suggest... Let's say you're trying to kill one. Oops. You want to do this. Or even if you're just like in one, then you can hit them, but they can't hit you back because they can't get over this. So, yeah. They can be, I would not suggest, like, if they're starting to storm you, I'd really run away. And diamonds, well. Wow. Okay, usually they're kind of actually sort of rare in here. So, and then let's see if we can find a blaze spawner. I think I saw one. Yeah, here it is. So a blaze spawner spawns in blazes. <laughs> but um, blaze spawners are found in the nether, and apparently for some reason it's not going to spawn any blazes, so I'll just blaze, 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 where is blaze, blaze. So blazes look like this and they will throw fire at you, um, or at least fireballs, and, uh, yeah, they, they, um, really, sorry, <laughs> friend texting me, um, um, actually, the best defense is snowballs, so blazes get hurt by snowballs, I think, like, also, I think magma cubes also do, but, like, let's say you don't have a bow, but you, you're trying to raid a nether fortress, then all you need to do is craft yourself a shovel, and then you can mine some snow, and there you go, you can defend yourself a bit better. So, yeah, I think this is this will be the um, end of the video. I hope you like it. Um, please subscribe, I guess all YouTubers say it, but... Um, and if you, if this was helpful, or if you have a recommendation, or anything, comment, um, and, yeah, see you later.